Hi and welcome everyone, thank you for joining. Today I'm going to talk about creating citations in Microsoft Word, how to manage your sources, and then how to insert a bibliography into Microsoft Word. I'll be using 2016 today uh, for my Microsoft Office, and so let's go ahead and get started. So what you're looking at now is a report in MLA format that I've started working on, and now I get to a point where I need to insert citations into it. So uh, I can see page one is right here and at the at the end of this paragraph right here uh, that says or on page two rather uh, that says according to an article where is that right here sorry on page one uh, according to an article at the end of that paragraph I'm gonna click right before the period there and then I'm going to insert a citation so you, the way that you do that is you go right up here to the references tab and then under citations and bibliography you could go right here to insert citation and if it's a new source you just add in that new source right there now this brings up the create source dialog box and it has all these different options for what type of source that you can uh, put into your uh, word document and so I'm just going to choose journal article okay so uh, journal article what you're going to do is you're going to type in the author right here and so after I type in the author's name, instead of using my hand to go back and choose the title down here, I'm just going to press tab a few times. Now we already learned about moving through um, tables in Microsoft Word. And so remember to just hit tab to move forward and then shift tab to move backwards. So I just typed in the title right there. Now I'm going to type in the journal name. All right. And so... I just move ahead to the next one. It'll talk about the publishing year, the pages that you got the uh, information from. That's typically how you'll get information from a journal is on specific pages because it'll have lots of different uh, types of um, articles within it. So here we go. So we got that and I click OK. And great, we see right here, Brash which is our author now appears right there again it's important to, uh, to click right before the period um, that way the author will appear before the period so usually we're going to since we're in MLA format and again you're going to want to go right up here to references citations and bibliography and make sure that it is MLA format uh, in this case that's the version or that's the type that we are using or the style that we're using and so now I, let's say I wanted to show those pages right here um, on the actual document itself. I'm going to click on Brash and I'm going to go right down here and I'm going to go to Edit Citation, right? And so right here I could actually, once I go to Edit Citation, you see Edit Citation, and I'm going to add in those page numbers, 136 to 142. So then I click OK or press enter and now it says brash 136 to 142 so that's looking good so that's how you typically want that source to look and so I'm gonna add in another one right now at the top of page 2 so at the top of page 2 right here we see this according to Dr. E. Gibson so we're gonna need to insert another source here um, again don't, don't really worry about too much about uh, you know what this text says or anything for your reports it's going to be different but for this one we just want to go over how to actually uh, insert the uh, the source itself so uh, I'm gonna click to the left of the period and then uh, insert a citation for a website okay and so right here I clicked right after the word discarded and now this time I'm gonna insert citation and I already see brash is right here now so that's kind of cool we could just add that back in if we wanted to but this one's gonna be a new source and this one's gonna be based off of a website so all these different source types here I find website is right there and now we see a completely different set of options here okay and so that's important uh, depending on what type of uh, source you use it'll give you a different set of options so when you're looking at a website you're going to want to make sure that you get that website's author or the author of the article that you read from that website and then you're going to go to uh, the name of the web page and that's going to be the article that you read from on the website or the name of the page or whatever it happens to be so then you'll type in the year the date, the month, and then you go to year accessed. So it's sometimes the web pages will be a little older, sometimes they'll be newer. newer. Just look for uh, whichever one it is. And so just make sure you get all that information in there. And then you click OK, 
and there we go now we see Gibson's name is right there now on this one we wouldn't really need page numbers because it's not an article or a book um, so we don't really need to put anything after that so now I'm going to scroll down to page three so I see page three is down here and um, at the end of the paragraph uh, that begins be because of this effect I'm going to need another source right there so I'm going to click to the left of the uh, period at the end of the source all right, where the source needs to go. And then I'm gonna insert a citation for a book this time. So I'm gonna go here to the references tab again, citations and bibliography. I click on insert citation. I got a new source right here. And on this source, uh, let's make it a book this time. And so not a book section. Let's see, if, where is that one for a book? There it is, the top one. All right, so I see the book right here. And so now I'm gonna type in the book's author and then I'll go to the title of the book. So again, this uh, research paper happens to be on dermatology. So it's gonna be a book about the guide to whole uh, skin care for life. Okay, and so after I get this one in, we're gonna get ready for that uh, bibliography, okay? So there we go. Uh, I type all, in all this information and once I have that information typed in, I click OK. All right, so there we go. After I click OK, I see down here um, we have the author. But again, this one is a book, so I actually want to get that uh, actual page that we referenced. We want the citations to uh, list the page if possible. So I'm going to go and click again, just so you can see. You click on the name LaFell, and then you click citation options and you can edit the citation to add in the page. In this case, it's page 96 and I click OK. And now we see that 96 is displayed right there. So now I'm going to go to the end of the document. And so since I'm doing some editing here, I definitely want to turn on my paragraph markers. So I'm going to go to the home tab paragraph group and I'm going to click right here for the paragraph markers. And I see that this is my last page. This is the end of the document. So what I'm going to do is insert a page break. OK, whenever we're doing a bibliography page, we want to make sure that that uh, references or bibliography or citations page always is on a set separate page than the one uh, that our actual report is on. So uh, I want to ins insert in a manual page break. So I'm going to go to the insert tab. And so right here we see uh, under the page break section or under the pages group rather, we see page break. So I put that page break in and you can just see it right there. And so now I'm down here on the fourth page. And so uh, I insert the page break and now I want to display that paragraph dialog box. And so right here in the home tab, I could go to the paragraph group. And if I click the paragraph settings dialog box right here, it's again that little tiny icon in the bottom right of the paragraph group. I could click that. And I want to change the indentation to none for down here. So a special indentation is first line. I don't want there to be any indentation when I do my work cited page. Okay, so right down there. I click none and then I click OK. All right, so <clears throat> that should be none. Now I want to add uh, a title in. So uh, I'm going to type in works cited and then press enter. And now I'm going to insert the bibliography onto the page. So to insert a bibliography, it's actually a lot easier than you might think. So a lot of people, when you're in class, they say, oh, you know what, let me handle the citations and bibliography. You don't don't fall for that, you know, make sure that they're doing their work too. And because it's actually really easy to insert um, a bibliography onto a Word document. You just go to the references tab and the citation and bibliography group and you click right here on bibliography. And then you see all these different options here. So I'm going to just insert in bibliography. And so if I click that right there, there we go. We have our bibliography added right onto our page. And so that's pretty much how, how you would uh, insert that in. So now what I could do is always I could change the options for this bibliography. So after I clicked on insert bibliography, I'm going to uh, basically want that double line spacing and then the spacing after to be zero point for this. And I want to center this works cited title. So right here, works cited, I'm going to do control E as in Edward to center that title. And so again, now I want to change the options down here. Okay. And so I have these different options. And so again, I wanted to change the paragraph settings. So I go to the home tab paragraph group and I click paragraph settings dialog box. 
I'm going to change the line spacing to double, right? And then it also said we want to change that spacing after to zero. So zero point right there. So again, that's the amount of space after each paragraph. And I click it. And there we go. Now we see everything is double spaced. Everything's looking good here. Now, what I want you to pay attention to is right here it says update citations and bibliography. Anytime that you change a source, you're going to want to uh, make sure that uh, you guys click that update uh, citations and bibliography. So if I went in and say I changed the Lawrence Gibson uh, report, I'm going to make sure that I update that. Um, that document properties or if I add in a new source that I click update that way it updates along with it so um, so that's how you enter in a bibliography um, onto your Word 2016 documents that's how you insert different types of sources so I hope this video was useful to you if you have any questions please put it in the comment section any video requests please put it in the comment section please like the video and subscribe to the channel and I appreciate you watching thank you so much